Are you stressed? Do you think your stress is affecting your daily life? Well, guess what? It's affecting your eyes and I'm gonna tell you how. I practice in Allendale, Michigan. We have a college campus of 20,000 students and you'd be surprised how many times a patient comes into my office and you know what their biggest complaint is? My eyelid won't stop twitching. It keeps moving and moving and moving. I tell my friends, I look in the mirror, and no one can see it, but it's driving me crazy. I always ask them, well, how is the stress in your life? They're like, no different than usual. So I have to dig a little deeper and I ask, how much sleep are you getting? About three to four hours a night. Are you hydrating? Are you eating properly? Do you have exams on your plate? They're like, oh, absolutely. But that's just my life. Well, I'll tell you this right now, stress affects you in so many different ways. So once we go over what they're doing, we realize there's a lot more stress than they might've thought. Now, this might be your everyday life, but it's still stress. I always tell my patients that whether you take a break or your body makes you take a break, you're going to take a break. So when you start having those symptoms, you have to make changes to reduce your stress. Now, systemically, stress will affect your sleep, your digestion, will affect your heart rate, your blood pressure, all of these things will affect your body. That being said, let's talk about some specific things that stress does to our eyes. Number one, stress increases cortisol. Cortisol is the main hormone when you have the fight or flight response. Well, your eyes, the tear film, is regulated by the parasympathetic nervous system. This is the rest or digest. So when you have high cortisol, you have high sympathetic fight or flight symptoms. Well, that means you're gonna have less tear production, less blinking. This will lead to more dry eye. And that's not good. In addition, stress affects digestion. Well, did you know that something called leaky gut syndrome, that's where you have a lot of inflammation in your gut, causes inflammatory materials, they're called cytokines, to be released into your body. This affects your joints, all over your body, but specifically your eyes. Drops like Restasis and Zydra are meant to reduce these inflammatory materials. But even if you reduce them, if you don't stop the onslaught of them, if you don't correct the leaky gut syndrome, you're gonna still have inflammation. So the drops will help reduce the symptoms, but you have to get to the underlying problem. And stress could be affecting that digestive system that's causing your dry eye. Isn't that crazy to think about? In addition, stress lowers your immune system. It suppresses it, so it doesn't work as well. So a lot of times when people are under a lot of stress, you see a lot more infections. So styes, pink eye, blepharitis, you get eye infections because your body can't naturally fight all the bacteria and viruses that are constantly attacking your eyes. Glaucoma and diseases of the optic nerve are other things that are affected by blood pressure. Well, we said that stress increases your blood pressure. That increase in blood pressure can make your body get less efficient blood flow. And less efficient blood flow affects the optic nerve. Again, glaucoma and other diseases of the optic nerve are what can cause patients to lose eyesight. So as you can see, stress is not something you just have to deal with. It's something you need to manage because if you don't, your body, your eyes are not gonna be the same. And this is why at my office, when we do an eye exam, we ask about your sleep. We ask about your diet. We ask about everything happening in your body, what medications you're taking, because it all comes back to your eyes. We are one system, not just a pair of eyes, knees, gut. We are a human body and all of it works together and affects our health. So if you take anything from this video, reduce your stress. Have a cocktail with your wife, have a cocktail with your husband, go for a walk, go golfing, get outside, stop stressing, and make your eyes healthy and happy. If you learned something new, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.